Greetings, Village. I am Sister Joy, Executive Director and uh, a, a Bump the Triangle <laughs> Visual Conductor. I am here to welcome you to our artist talk for our 2021 winter art auction. We are so excited. It is up. It's been up. You still have just a few more days. I'm going about a week. Um, it'll be up until the 4th. You can see all of the wonderful work at bit.ly forward slash bump auction 21. Bit.ly forward slash bump auction 21. Um, and we are here to um, talk to some of our artists. We've had two interviews. We have a third one for you in just a few minutes. Very excited to introduce you to Gerald Rubin. Um, Bump's mission is to foster excellence in agency and youth using the cultural assets of African diasporic music and art. We offer youth enrichment programming, um, instrumental and vocal ensembles that build musical proficiency and cultural literacy and heritage knowledge and resilience. And this auction helps us to support more youth to learn how to play um, instruments, both Western classical and our traditional African instruments. We offer everything from trumpets and clarinets and saxophones to African drumming, djembe, um, balafon, steel pans. Um, and we are really centering, connecting our youth by heritage to our cultural practices. So um, very excited for the artists who have joined us in this auction. If you once again, if you haven't seen it, go to bit.ly forward slash bump auction 21 and check out all of the amazing work. So um, I would like to introduce our board co-chair, board of directors co-chair, Miss Zawadi Walker. Hi. Hi, Zawadi. How are you? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. Awesome. And I'm also going to introduce the artist that we are going to talk to. This is Brother Gerald Rubin. Hi, Gerald. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Gerald. So um, I'm here to support in any way that I can. I'm going to step back in the background and, and um, I'll be participating in the conversation. You just won't be able to see me or hear me, but I'm here if you need me. And um, uh, if you're listening and if you have any questions for the artist or about the auction or the art, um, just feel free to drop them in the chat and, and we'll do the best we can to answer your questions. All right. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Well, good evening, Brother Gerald. Um, how are you? I am fine. Thank you. A little awesome. Nervous, but I'm okay. <laughs> oh, just breathe. It's <laughs> <laughs> just a conversation. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Wonderful. So um, for, for, for me and for our viewers, can you just tell, tell us about yourself? About me? Well, about um, you. I, uh, I'm 63 years old. So I get that out there. I'm an old, I'm an old dude. Um, <laughs> I, uh, I just retired. I've been retired for about a year from, uh, from my job. I worked at Target for 15 years among other places. Okay. And uh, I've been um, kind of enjoying my retirement. Wonderful. Just, uh, it, it's kind of, a, it's kind of strange to be in a situation where you can kind of do anything you want to do. <laughs> but then the problem is trying to find something to do. <laughs> Ooh, I look forward to having that problem. <laughs> <laughs> That's well, what everybody tells me. <laughs> congratulations on your retirement. <laughs> so well, thank you. Turning toward to your art, um, did you um, start your artistic career before you retired or um, after retiring? Well, it kind of, I guess, technically before. I've always, always doodled. Okay. Always, I mean, uh, the one of my, a uh, girl I used to work with, whenever we talk, she always laughs and says that, I'd have doodles on all the paperwork all around the bakery when I work. <laughs> okay. So um, um, I just kept doodling, and sometime, probably within the last year and a half, two years, I started doing bigger and bigger doodles. And I eventually just took a, a, round, um, a round bowl, put it on a piece of paper, made a circle, and made some designs in the bowl. And I started wow. showing them to people. And they said, that's not a doodle, that's art. And I said, ah, it's just doodle. I just call it call it doodle art and let it go. 
And they kept saying, it's art, it's art, it's art. So finally, I realized, I, I guess it is art. So I started doing more and more. And then I, I had a friend challenge me to do more things. Mm -hmm. So I kept doing more and expanding. And now I do, uh, my, um, most of my sheets are about eight by eight and a half by 11. I work on those sheets and okay. I use uh, um, different colored um, paper that uh, it's a uh, cardstock paper that's a little thicker. So it, it doesn't bleed through. And I just, just kind of go along with that. Okay. So one, you got some amazing friends that <laughs> kept on telling you, no, that's just not doodling. That's not doodling. That's art. <laughs> and to also challenge you. So I think it's awesome. Um, so for, for how, well, how would you describe your art? That's a good question. I say to someone um, who, who couldn't see, or someone who's maybe listening to us, uh, you know, just not watching us, but just listening to us audio. How would you describe your art? Um, I think it's, um, you know, something. Um, when I filled out the form to do this, they asked me to name the art. And I've never really named it. Mm -hmm. I just let people decide what they want it to look like, what they see in their minds. So uh, you can look at a piece. One person can look at something and say, well, that looks like um, a cat in a hat. I, I don't know. I'm just, just mm -hmm. saying. But each person sees what they want. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like a lot of it, I know this is going to sound crazy, but I feel like I'm channel channeling like my ancestors in some of the stuff I do. Because it's just some of it, I heard people say that some of it looks kind of kind of African. Mm -hmm. I know? agree. So. Um, I feel like I, I do. I feel like I'm channeling, channeling my ancestors because basically when I start, I just I start with a design and I just kind of get in a zone and I just start filling it in. And I look at it and say, oh, this looks like it might be a good idea to do. And this looks like it might be good to do. And by the time I'm done, I have a, a drawing. So a beautiful drawing. Um, as I look at some of the pictures that are displayed on the screen, um, the the one um, I guess that the top uh, top row to the to be my left it reminds me of Anansi. Um, I, I have a three year old and I'm constantly reading her stories, an mm -hmm. African folk tale about Anansi the spider. Mm -hmm. And uh, this just uh, that that uh, piece of art reminds me uh, of of Anansi. Um, very very beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, so how long <laughs> have you been? Uh, is that funny to you? <laughs> Oh, I'm yes, not. Okay, my, my okay. Son, I'm looking at the comments. Son, has, yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, son. Hi, son. Um, so the, the son says, I describe his art as a fusion between art deco and traditional African art. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that. Um, he, okay. He's better at words than I am. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Well, I'll make sure I, I pay attention uh, to, to the chat. Um, so do you have any particular artistic influences? Um, hmm. I think somebody like Picasso that had that that kind of uh free flow. Mm -hmm. I think um I like his his kind of his kind of art. Um and as far as as far as what I do, there's not really any particular influence. Um I just kind of just kind of do my own thing, but um I, I went to um, a uh, museum in Philadelphia last year mm -hmm. and saw some wonderful stuff. I mean, this this painting behind me is one of, is a poster from there. Okay. It's just a boat on the water, and I just love that. Mm -hmm. It's just it just looks relaxing, right? So, and I found another painting of a girl with just it's just a, a young girl with red hair, mm -hmm. and it's just you look at that picture and you wonder what was going through her mind when when she was standing there. So I, I, I guess the kind of, lot, kind of art I like is something that makes you think about what that situation was or what the artist was thinking about when they drew that. 
Okay. Okay. Well, I'm gonna turn that on you then. <laughs> in some of your in some of your pieces, what were you thinking about? <laughs> I knew you were gonna do that. <laughs> I think that was, I knew that that was, was a good question. Yeah. So, so are there... um I, I think I don't I don't know. It's just usually when I do it, um I just like I said, I just start with a, a design. And I just go along and usually I'm listening to music or like a podcast or something like that. And I don't know whether it 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 folks it, it kind of leads me in a direction when I listen to stuff. Mm -hmm. Or sometimes I think it's maybe my mindset when I'm feeling feeling happy or down. Honestly, I, I do my best stuff when I'm feeling kind of down. <laughs> Oh. Which I guess that, that that maybe that's my way of expressing okay. my feelings on the paper more than just screaming. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, <laughs> I could understand that. Um, I could definitely understand that. Trying to trying to figure out how I can channel that. <laughs> yes, now, maybe, maybe well. this is my challenge of, of the how I feel in life on these on these uh, pieces. Well, of it's art. a beautiful, beautiful creation. So you mentioned a few things um, that, that you find yourself creating sometimes when listening to music or listening to podcasts. And earlier mm -hmm. you mentioned about, you know, your work of art, um, uh, also African-American history, you know, our, mm -hmm. our story coming through that. Is there any particular artist that you listen to, a particular podcast, um, you know, that you listen to when creating your work? Um. Usually, usually when I'm listening to music, I listen to, uh, I love old um, Motown stuff. Okay. Oh, I love old Motown. Also, like, uh, I know this is going to sound crazy. I love 70s rock. That's not crazy. <laughs> it's, um, and um, as far as podcasts, it's just, it's just like, to me, listening to a podcast is like walking the rack of a, a, a music store or a bookstore. You just keep looking until you find something that kind of interests you. Right. And then you listen to it. Though, honestly, here lately, I've been listening to a lot of, uh, I like cooking stuff, which is weird. And um, I like um, like a lot of black history. Okay. Because there's, there's a lot of black history that's not taught in schools. Yes. <laughs> and um, you learn a lot of stuff that that you didn't like a lot of stuff that I didn't know. I mean, I didn't know about the uh, I'm sorry to say this. I didn't know about the um, how was it uh, the Oklahoma thing that happened in Oklahoma City until hmm. a couple of years ago. Hmm. I had no idea that that happened. It's never too so, late to learn. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so there's a lot of stuff on uh, that comes up on YouTube. I listen to and it's like, OK, this is interesting. And while I'm drawing. Sometimes when I listen to something like that, um, when I listen to something like that, it kind of um, puts me in that mood to, to maybe make a line going another one direction or another direction. Awesome. And I, I just see Malcolm's comment. Mm -hmm. um, and that's what brings me to that place. Um, it's just, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's just, I just, I kind of let my mind and my hand kind of work in sync and it, I just let it go where it wants to go. So there's, oh, okay. I will do that. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm reading. Reading, no, that's um, okay. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I just let it, I just let it kind of, I just let it kind of flow within me and I just go with the flow when I, when I do something and, when I, it's funny, I can I can start with uh, like three circles mm -hmm. on my paper, and I have no idea what's got go, what is that going to be until it's done, and it's wow. like okay, this looks pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> wow, <laughs> I understand. Man. So the colors, there's there's colors in your in your art. Where um, well one, you know, do you? Do these colors, do they have any particular meaning? And and two, um, how are you, is this ink or is this paint? Well, I use, so the colors I use, I use, I use three types of gel pens. I use a gold gel pen, I use a silver gel pen, and a white gel pen. Okay. And the main reason I use those is because they show up really well 
on the uh, colored paper that I used. Mm -hmm. I, I was doing a lot of stuff on black paper at start night, but then I started getting colored paper. And the, those, those three colors show up real well on the colored paper. Right. And I was doing a lot of them with just those three. And then I started using, uh, um, I used black uh, watercolor pen. I used, well, I used watercolor pens. Whoa. Okay. They, um, they uh, have, uh, they have one tip is like a writing tip. And mm -hmm. the other side is like a, almost like a paintbrush. Wow. So I use those to uh, put the colors in. And then if you, like with a lot of them, I don't even use, the only thing I use would be the black and the gold and the white and the uh, uh, silver gel pen. And I do it on like a blue paper or a black paper or a red paper. That's all you need. The paper, the color of the paper comes through with all the um, design, uh, under the designs, there's that color of the paper. Mm, that's so, so it beautiful. Pop, it makes the color pop out. Definitely, definitely. So earlier you mentioned that you don't name your your art. Uh, your yes, I, I guess I should start doing that, but I don't. Know. You don't? <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> and just, just not move to, to give them a name? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, not yet. I, I've got so many. I, I probably... When you name something, you should probably name it when you do it. And I, I really, usually when I'm done with it, I just flip it over and write my name on it and the date. So everything everything has my name, my signature, and the date I did it. But as far as a name, I I just I just haven't really came up with a name for her. Okay, that's um, fair. <laughs> um, I'm just, you know, I guess, I, I, yeah, no, I haven't. <laughs> that is that is fair. Um... Okay, um, just uh, I think two more questions. So, okay, I'm, I'm an open one. Book. All right, what is your favorite time of day to create? Uh, okay, so if you if you looked on in the dictionary under the uh definition of night owl, my picture would be there. Oh, oh, okay, <laughs> yes, All I right. am. I am a notorious night owl, but I do my best work. Um, Usually I start about nine and I'll be working on something till like two or three in the morning. I, I'm just, I'm a notorious night owl. I'm, I'm my, my, if my son is here, is still on, he will, he will um, verify that fact. I am a night owl. Okay. Um, okay. But, uh, but I do my best work when I'm just sitting here. Just, it's just me, um, the lap, my laptop was with, with uh, some kind of something on it. And my drawing, and every now and then my cat. I love my cat. My cat would just come down, plop down on whatever I'm doing, and just sit there. Oh, okay. Until until I play with him, and then he's happy, and then he goes away. And then he goes away. Okay. So yeah. So he. Uh, other than that, he's an art critic. I hadn't decided yet. <laughs> okay. Wonderful. <laughs> um, Gerald, where could we find um your your artwork? Well, right now, I, I, I need to make a um, website, but right now, um, I call my art Cat Daddy Art because I'm a cat daddy. I have two cats. So that was the name I decided. So that's what it is. It's Cat Daddy Art. So I have a Facebook page, Cat okay. Daddy Art, and I have an Instagram page, Cat Daddy Art. And, the right. and, those, and on those two pages, all I put on it is just pictures. Whenever I do a new picture, it goes on that page. All right, Facebook and Instagram. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Cat, cat, uh, cat Daddy Art. Okay, wonderful. Mm -hmm. And Brother Gerald, I just want to give you um opportunity to um share anything else you would like to with me and, and our viewers before we um sign off. I have enjoyed this conversation. <laughs> well, thank you. I've enjoyed it too. It's been fun. Um I uh I just want to say I'm honored to be a part of this. I really truly am. This is a wonderful thing. Um, um, it's nice to be able to get my, uh, my vision, I guess, of art out to people to see and I hope people like, to, like to look at it. And, uh, I, I, I'm going to, I've got to have a lot of ideas I'm, in my head that I want to try to get it out more to people and maybe make some adjustments. I want to try to get some on canvas so I can have a bigger, bigger pictures, right. bigger drawings. So, um, um, just just keep your eye, keep your eye open. You know, one of these days you might be saying, "Hey, I have an original journal." <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wonderful. 
Well, thank you very much. Um, it thank is you. Intriguing art. <laughs> thank you very much. I appreciate very it. Very unique. Really. You know I'm, something? That, that's what I just named one. I just name a piece unique. All right. <laughs> I'm just popping in again to say thank you once again, Gerald. We really appreciate your participation in our auction. Um, your work is beautiful. And thank I you. look forward to, to seeing it more. And um, just want to remind everybody to go to bit.ly forward slash bump auction 21. And you can see the work that he has submitted. And you can find more of his work on his Instagram and Facebook pages at, what is it? Cat Daddy yeah. Art. Yes. Cat Daddy Art. Um, and uh, you can see more of the Cat Daddy series. <laughs> <laughs> I love that name. I don't know. That's, that's sitting with me. I like that. <laughs> um, yes. And so we really appreciate you. Thank you so much for, for, Thank you. for helping us to support our cause. We really appreciate it. Indeed. Thank you. Thank you. All right. And thank you, Zawadi, for joining us and, and, and conducting the interview. Really You're appreciate welcome. It. This has been fun. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> All right, village. We'll see you next time. Bye.